friends, family, and America. This is April Food Preps. Welcome. Part 1. And remember, things are going up, folks. So keep your ears to the tracks. Okay? What you're about to see, we roughly spent uh, roughly right around $175 and got just about 300 pounds worth of merchandise. Okay? Um, which averages out to right around 58 cents a pound, considering the price increase in the last six days to a week. So, let's get started. And here we go. Here we go. We got uh, iodized salt at 39 cents each for a total of... 624 and that's about 26 pounds folks next we got uh, about 300 tea bags five shakers of cocoa chips and two liters of Spanish wine vinegar at 948 picked up these pink salmon cans for nine dollars Okay, then pick the Dove Bars up, 10 for 5 bucks. Now listen, the reason why you want to get um, plain chocolate is because you can also break that off and use it as morsels um, if you are going to do any type of baking. Keep that in mind, folks. Any kind of baking has some plain chocolate. Also good for trade. Next, we had uh, these... Uh, corn pieces, um, baby corn was five for three ninety five. Got these vitamins also at the um, dollar store for dollar a piece, so five bucks. And we picked up uh, Campbell's um, little soup packets, um, ready to make um, for five dollars. Also, we just started to add instant type foods to supplement our already existing. Um, preps okay next we have uh, some spinach got that spinach at dollar a bag at the dollar store organic spinach pre-nuclear we hope okay moving on I uh, picked up quite a few items here the avocados as you can see five pieces for a dollar also the uh, zucchini ten pounds for five dollars also, the bell peppers, five for a buck. Total of ten we purchased. Total two dollars. Organic spinach, twelve ounces for ninety-eight cents. And those jalapenos right there, five pounds for a dollar. Oh, don't forget the white onion, three pounds for a buck. Okay. Combined with this haul here, which is uh, some kettle or sweet corn there on the left, and some. Marzola uh, bouillon, as well as the vegetable oil, some more salt, and again some some uh, boxed or pre-made uh, uh, butter. So uh, actually, those are potatoes. Don't know what I'm thinking, but we got those the last two slides for a total of twenty nine thirteen, including the tax. Moving on, fifty pounds of wheat at Wally World, twenty six dollars fifty eight cents. Now, some of your super Walmarts will carry this, um, as I've heard from a friend of mine on the East Coast. Also, that got 100 pounds worth of sugar for $47.12. So, uh, folks, stock up when you can. Sugar's good for trade. Wheat's good for cereal um, and other various uses. Okay. Okay, now the Walgreens haul. You got about 40 items for $29.33 total. Picked up this... Um, Cornbread muffin mix, 29 cents per package. Got the jello there for five for a dollar. Got some more of this pre-nuclear sal salmon, we hope, at 99 cents a can. And with the total rebate from the in-store coupons, again, coupons, folks, use your brain. Um, the girls' products there were free inside the store with the rebate. Okay. And then we got some pickling salt at $1.19 a piece. 
Um, the reason why you might want to invest in some pickling salt is because that pickling salt you can use for not only uh, vegetables, but also for meats and um, other things that you might decide to pickle. And that pickling process can be done by boiling as well as leaving it on the counter. So it's not such a bad thing to have, especially if you might do some canning or pickling and also hunting, folks, hunting. Okay. Next, I uh, picked up this little mini BBQ pit, $2.80 with the coupon. Okay. Interesting little buy here at Wally World. Um, clear to go uh, water bottle filter, total $11. But then um, picked up these uh, other filters, which filter uh, roughly 100 gallons a piece at $2.50 a piece. Um, so spent uh, $17 at Wally World. Because um, I guess maybe that's wrong. Maybe it was more like twenty bucks. Uh, Why she's at math might be a little off, but uh, they were at a discount price. Um, check with um, or when you go in there. Uh, both of these items might be found in two different departments um, if you don't see them together. So um, do a little bit of investigation in uh, finding these products if it's something that you would like to uh, have in your bug out bag. Now, look at this. Case in point, things are going up. The sugar right there, total for that 100 pounds, $53.92. That's up $8 in six days, folks. We got these gifts here from some friends um, who traveled to France. Um, so that's free. So if people ask you and they've gone out of the country or gone somewhere on vacation, um, just ask them, hey, you know, they ask you if you want something and say, hey, yeah, I want something that's prepping involved, um, which will save you money in the long run. Uh, and I also um, bought for the wifey the uh, gardening magazine's um, subscription so she can uh, get some alternative uh, points of view along with all the help that those out there listening have given us. Thank you again. Here we go. Total 1785. We got 10 pounds of rice, 60, 60 cinnamon sticks. The actual stick lasts longer than it powdered. Um, five pounds of whole flaxseed and two organic salad mixes, all four. It's just under $20. Okay. So moving on with those apples, uh, we canned all of those actually. And the apples purchased totaled about 13 pounds. And that 13 pounds gave us 11 pints of preserves or candied um, cinnamon apples. Okay. And I also went and purchased uh, two, actually, how many did I buy? Three? No, I bought two 40 pound um, bags of compost at three bucks a piece at a local uh, little farm ranch area. So if you have any of these types of resources, make sure you do take advantage of them, folks, um, because you got to hedge yourself against the madness. That's it. Tune in for part two toward the end of the month. And Afro Prepper. Peace, love, and I'll catch you on the flip side.